and we're preparing to do more. In addition to the economic penalties we're imposing, we're also taking steps to defend our NATO allies, particularly in the East. Tomorrow, NATO will convene a summit. We'll be there to bring together the leaders of 30 allied nations and close partners to affirm our solidarity and to map out the next steps we will take to further strengthen all aspects of our NATO alliance. Although we provided over $650 million in defensive assistance to Ukraine just this year, it's last year, let me say it again. Our forces are not and will not be engaged in the conflict with Russia in Ukraine. Our forces are not going to Europe to fight in Ukraine, but to defend our NATO allies and reassure those allies in the East. As I made crystal clear, the United States will defend every inch of NATO territory with the full force of American power. And the good news is, NATO is more united and more determined than ever. There is no doubt, no doubt that the United States and every NATO ally will meet our Article 5 commitments, which says that an attack on one is an attack on all. Over the past few weeks, I ordered thousands of additional forces to Germany and Poland as part of our commitment to NATO. On Tuesday, in response to Russia's aggressive action, including its troop presence in Belarus and the Black Sea, I've authorized the deployment of ground and air forces already stationed in Europe to NATO's eastern flank allies, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, and Romania. Our allies have also been stepping up, adding the other allies, the rest of NATO, adding their own forces and capabilities to ensure collective defense. And today, within hours of Russia's unleashing its assault, NATO came together and authorized and activated an activation of response plans. This will enable NATO's high readiness forces to deploy and when and where they are needed to protect our NATO allies on the eastern boundaries of Europe. And now I'm authorizing additional U.S. force capabilities to deploy to Germany as part of NATO's response, including some of the U.S.-based forces that the Department of Defense placed on standby weeks ago. I've also spoken with Defense Secretary Austin and Chairman of the Joint Chiefs General Milley about preparations for additional moves should they become necessary to protect our NATO allies and support the greatest military alliance in the history of the world, NATO.